Hey everybody, I'm Josh. I'm Jace. And we're here to watch Loki episode, episode three. Oh, you see the name of the episode now. I don't want to stay. I can take. Actually, it. I didn't even look at it. I missed it. I can't remember it anyways. I saw it. It was called <clears throat> Lamentus. So what happened last time? What happened oh, by the way, time? I'm we're changing things up just a little bit, and uh, this is a, a frozen cocktail. So excuse me if I get a little buzz later. <laughs> <laughs> what happened the last episode? We met the Loki variant. It's a woman. And Loki went after her, after she created. Yeah. About, I'm, what we saw was a dozen different oh my God, she in the timeline. But, I mean, I guess we gotta imagine it's gotta be more than that, right? It's, just you see that big old curve? With all the branching off? Fuck, they, they fuck shit up. I saw a photo of Tom Hiddleston and that woman. Like, a screenshot from this episode. And they were, like, wearing suits. And standing next to each other. I'm like... This looks like a screenshot from Doctor Who, I'm not going to lie. Do you recognize the actress that plays the... Uh... No. She might have been in Doctor Who. Hmm. I, bet, I mean, I have no idea. Because I don't... Could have been a Doctor Who. I don't know. There have been like ten of them. Yeah, one of them was a woman. I have no idea. Is that the current one? I have no idea. I don't keep track. I don't I don't that's the one... That's like one of the things... That's I probably... Uh, that's probably embarrassing. We don't watch Doctor Who. Well, I'm not going to watch it. It's like 40... It's a 40-year-old TV show. I'm not saying for reactions... And, and even in general, I'm, not, I'm still not watching it. I get, I know the memes. That's all the ma- That's all that counts. And then there was another thing I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about just how cheap the last episode looked. Not really, not really the Pompeii stuff. That was fine. But I'm talking about the end scene where it's just Tom Hiddleston and an extra wrestling. Basically, that was cheap. They didn't really have like a big spectacle fight scene or whatever compared to what we got from what me and you what me and you saw from like the first two episodes of the Winter's uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier because as of this point we've only watched the first two episodes and even then they're like flying around and fighting people on trucks it's exciting it's dynamic action sequences this isn't really that we had that one scene I guess it's just I guess it's just the nature of the show because I mean this isn't like an action what exact, show maybe what exactly are each of these shows supposed to represent I mean Basically, uh, we saw in WandaVision, we were watching uh, Wanda realize her nature as what they call the Scarlet Witch, which is actually what she called in Marvel Comics. It's like, it's like, it's like probably, it might be the same reason. It might not be. I'm not 100% sure. Well, um, WandaVision was, it was like telling the story of Wanda's grief while also like making fun of sitcoms. And what Falcon the Winter Soldier is, is just like flushing out the two characters while also being like a buddy cop thing. And then what this is, is just... Flushing out the character of Loki while also being like timey wimey, gobbledygook, just time travel shenanigans. The one thing I wanted to talk about, we didn't touch on this at the end of the last episode. When Loki is fighting one of the extras at the futuristic Walmart, he holds his hand out and something comes to it, like Thor's hammer. He uses the force. He, yeah, he basically, like, I didn't know he could do that. He basically used, and it's not like a special thing. It's not like Thor can do that with every item. It's just one of his weapons that he does it with. But Loki, it looked like he just picked up some random some random garbage and he he just grabbed it. I'm like, I didn't know he could do that. It, it, was Loki always telekinetic? I don't know. Maybe he's not just telekinetic. It's just like pulling. This is the first time in the entire MCU we've seen him use that. He just ability. pulls something towards him. He made the Pompeii scene in the last episode. Dude, that, that was, was fucking That was hilarious. such a good scene. I was talking I was actually uh, talking to one of my coworkers, and like, dude, that, sec- that second episode of Loki, oh, that's something. He was like, oh, I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to watch it at lunch. Give, give me a break. A oh, lunch? Yeah. Okay, how long are you, wait, how long are your lunches? Well, he was finishing it at lunch. Oh, okay. You can watch like a 10, 15 minutes of it or something like that. Okay. But, he, but then after lunch, he comes up to me and be like, what the fuck was that episode? That threw me for a loop. Holy shit, man. Right. What the fuck? That's enough said. We've been rambling on long enough. Let's play the episode. Play. So we didn't get any Agent Mobius in this episode. Nope. That was a good. That was a good sequence of events. We did, that was a good way to end the episode with a big, nice tracking shot. But damn, the arc got destroyed. But the tricky thing about that was that there was so much crap to look at. I couldn't tell that that was what happened. Okay, I, th- I think I need to stop looking at Loki as, like, Loki with Loki's known powers. I just need to look at him as, like, he can do magic. Like, well, Loki, what are your powers? Magic? What kind, what, what kind of magic? Whatever, plot magic. Whatever the plot demands. He fucking stopped a collapsing building. When could he do that? 
I bet I feel like we're gonna see a lot more powers of Loki in this that are like powers that would have come in handy. I don't know, maybe when he was being choked out by a fucking Titan. Yeah, he got nerfed. No, I feel like they boosted him in this. He this got is... nerfed for Infinity War. And keep in mind, this is like Loki right after Avengers. This isn't even Loki where like he had a few years pretending he was Odin to, to get better at magic. This is just him at at this point. So good, some good scenes with Loki. I thought, and the good, I like the train sequence where they were fighting the people on the train. Loki got drunk. He's talking about his uh, backstory. It's uh, silly. Now, Jace, what do you think is going on with uh, Loki and Sylvie? Not what you think and is going on. Uh, here's what's going on, Jace. <laughs> Don't touch me. There. Going. Don't touch me, you're too horny. They're going to fuck. No, they're not. There's like a part in when they're talking, and she's like, oh, so you were a prince of Asgard. Does that mean there were a lot of uh, princesses for you to also fuck? Or, you know, were princes, if that's what you're into? And then he responded with a little of both. Is that Did they just canonize that Loki is bisexual? Why don't we talk about this? Why don't we talk about LGBT stuff like it's... Such a strange concept because I don't think it's a strange we're concept. not the bigots. I don't think it's a strange concept. It's I'm just, not. I, mean, I think that's what I just I'm saying. It's I just not. Think, I just think it's cool that they I like to put it in there. You know, for Loki, I was like, oh, spicy. I recently heard about how there's something called the the Pride Ally flag. <laughs> I'm like, I kind of want to get one. <laughs> it actually does look cool, and I am an and I do consider myself an ally. I'm, Maybe not an active ally, so maybe that's different. I mean, if I'm out in the street and I see someone being a dick to a gay person because they're gay, then yeah, I'll say something, but I'll advocate. We st- yeah, we, despite the fact that we spent this entire episode with, with the Lokis, we have no idea what she wants. What do we really know about her? We got a little bit about her backstory that she grew up like that. She grew up without a mom. She's adopted. We learned that the entire TVA is made of variants. Yeah, Owen Wilson is a variant. He's like, hey, Agent Mobius, you're a variant. Wow. <laughs> I will pay a million dollars if that's how the conversation goes. <laughs> Usually I... So this whole episode... I'll tell you what, Jace. Editing this episode is going to be tricky. You know why? Everything was just purple. <laughs> Because the way I edit it is that I look at our faces when we're, and it'll, it'll, if it ever cuts to like a super dark, from a super dark shot to a super light shot, it'll show in our faces. Would it help if I had a mirror in the background and you could see the reflection of the screen? <laughs> yeah, but then mm, maybe like, mm, I have no idea. It would help, but it'd just be like super distracting, I feel. I mean, you can cover it up mm. after the actual video, once you finish the actual editing. Yeah. What do you think about the, uh, the coloring in this episode because it was all purple. Did it ever like annoy your eyes? Because I've experienced that. <laughs> I've experienced shows where like they want to go super saturated colors, but at so, I don't remember what show it was. But like I, I'm like I'm in this oversaturated colors, but this is breaking me. This is crossing the line. This was fine. The purple was fine. I wasn't annoyed with the purple. There's this really terrible movie with Lindsay Lohan called I Know Who Killed Me, and that movie is just nonstop with blue, blue. Blue roses, blue this and well, that. Yeah, we thought it was bad when they wouldn't turn on the fucking lights. In what, in the Fantastic Four movie? Fantastic Four, DC movies, yeah, anything. But like, but like, I was like, I'm sick of the blue. Oh. I thought blue was your favorite color. It is my favorite color. I, it was, Jace, you need to watch this movie. It's crossing a line with the blue. Like, there's a scene with a serial killer, and his murder tools are blue. My God. Blue tools. Who the fuck has blue tools? Josh? Yeah. Breathe, man. Yeah. All right. By the way, guys, Patreon is a thing. It exists full length. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I mean, this was fun. You have anything left to say, Jace? Nope. All right. This was a good episode. I'm, I'm unfortunately going to regret my talking points that I wanted to... <laughs> I always have talking points when I'm, wa- when I'm watching these, but then I forget to bring them up later. Like, and then I'm editing it. I'm like, damn it! I wanted to talk about that! But, oh well. All right. See you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Josh. I'm Jake. See you guys in the next one.